This is episode 17 of the road trip. We're gonna be going to Oklahoma City and Tulsa for some Christmas shopping. This is the Oklahoma road trip. From McCurtain County, the crew heads north into Oklahoma City. Our first stop will be the Paseo Arts District, an area that is home to a vibrant art community, as well as a host of restaurants, boutique shops, and businesses. Hello from Oklahoma City. We took a little break from our road trip and we came down to the Paseo Arts District. And there's Amanda. <laughs> the Paseo has been here since 1929. It's been an uh, artist area since 1977. We have a little bit of everything. We've got over 20 galleries, a shoe store, clothing store. We're up to 10 restaurants now and several different little boutiques. And, and so it's a really fun, unique area. Oh my gosh, you rock it. <laughs> oh. Something like this. Oh, cute. You stitch and then when you're finished, you end up with something like Whoa. that. Whoa! So can you come here to make your own stockings? Mm -hmm. What a fun yeah. like date to go on or yeah. something. Yeah, absolutely. I'm supposed to Christmas shop for other people, but I'm probably just gonna buy things for myself. Mom, what do you want for Christmas? The beautiful new clothes. <laughs> hey, I really call for a reason. What, what is it? We're headed to the Talamina Drive. Oh, the yay, they're going so, to the oh, Rock really? House. Oh, cool. Yeah. Hi Andrea. Hello. Where are we? Uh, the Red Rooster. This building has been here since 1937. Lots of regulars have stories in this place. All of our menu, it's just very eclectic. I mean there's a little something for everything. Cool. Everyone on this menu. From the Paseo Arts District, the crew heads southwest to our next shopping destination, the Plaza District. This part of town is quickly emerging as a hub for arts and entertainment. It's home to a variety of local shops, art galleries, and restaurants that celebrate the diverse community. Right now we are standing in the middle of the Plaza District in Oklahoma City. We've got about 50 local businesses crammed into two and a half blocks in our beautiful Plaza District. Okay, well welcome to Dig It. You can find just about anything. If you need new sunglasses, band t-shirts, if you want to play pinball for free, it is one of my favorite places here. So right now we're in Bad Granny's Bazaar. Anytime a rock star comes into Oklahoma City, they stop here. So we've had shoppers like Jared Leto, Miley Cyrus. This is one of the coolest places to be in Oklahoma City. Okay, I'm about to try this nice pearl snap on I found. This, this is me, this is me. All right, let's see what I look like in it. Sad day, it's too big. This is Junction Coffee. Uh, it's a double-decker bus that serves coffee uh, as a food truck. So there's seating upstairs. Uh, there's three booths and a bar that runs across. Uh, there's a little bit of seating downstairs. And we towed around the downtown area, um, making great friends and serving great coffee. These are our Plaza Walls murals. They're done by local artists, but also artists from all over the country. And it's always open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Right now we are at Pie Junkie and we are getting you guys some drunken turtles and apple cranberry slices. The drunken turtle. The drunken turtle. It's amazing. I also got the drunken turtle and it turns out so far the drunken turtle is pretty tasty. From OKC, the team hits the road eastbound for Tulsa's Brookside District. Our shopping adventure continues at Ida Red. This local boutique general store celebrates all things Oklahoma and is definitely a worthwhile stop for any and all Oklahoma road trippers. Oh man, there's so much going on around here at Christmas time. It seems like we're getting new fun stuff in every day, so we're pretty much always living in Box Mountain. So we primarily sell things relating to Tulsa and Oklahoma, and a lot of them are actually made in Tulsa by local artists as well. Okay, so over here we have all of our locally made food and snacks. A lot of it is made in Tulsa, but most of it's just made in Oklahoma. I could go for some caramel corn right Oh now. yeah, it's made at Antoinette's Bakery. They're you know awesome. What? I'm gonna hang on to that. <laughs> coffee mugs. I'm not much of a coffee drinker, but I do know a lot of coffee drinkers, so this is a perfect gift, right? Yeah, they hold any liquid, actually. It doesn't have to be coffee. You could put water in it, put a plant in it. They're just cool mugs. Check this out. This was actually part of the road trip, too. Oh, really? You can get nice. the scent of the blue well. It smells like turtles and fish. <laughs> this is awesome. This, uh, this store is really awesome. And there's plenty of stuff to go through. Oh yeah, there's something for everyone. All right, time to check out. All right, let's do this. 
On today's road trip, we explored some of the amazing shopping destinations that the Oklahoma City and Tulsa area have to offer. Our first stop was the Paseo Arts District in Oklahoma City. On top of the numerous stores and restaurants, the district is home to the first Friday Gallery Walk, as well as the Paseo Arts Festival that takes place every year during Memorial Day weekend. Next, we ventured into downtown Oklahoma City to the Plaza District. This historic cultural epicenter offers visitors a unique atmosphere to shop, eat, and admire the local art scene. You can also catch Live on the Plaza, the art walk that takes place every month that celebrates the community with music, art, and shopping. Finally, we made our way to Ida Red in Tulsa. This boutique general store celebrates all things Oklahoma, and we highly recommend stopping in for yourself. With such a variety to offer guests, Ida Red truly has something for everyone. Next time on the Oklahoma Road Trip, we'll take you down to Idabel and Hugo. We'll visit the Museum of the Red River, take you to lunch in style, and we'll even hang out with some elephants. We'll see you then.